This is all the electronic waste I have collected over the last 10 years or so. I have kept everything that had a circuit board and wasn't working anymore, and all of this in preparation for this exact project. And if you're curious, reordering all this turns out to be 12 full-size RAM, 8 small RAM from notebook, 3 CPU, 5 hard drives, 10 computer expansion card, 17 smartphone and 2 big tablet, then one box of big PCBs from computer and home entertainment system, and one box of smaller PCBs from small devices like modem and router, or TV tuner and all kind of small electronics. All electronics are made with traces of precious metals like gold and silver, often in the form of plating, to take advantage of the incredible corrosion resistance and high electrical conductivity of those precious metals. And today I want to take all those traces and turn them into a solid bar or most probably like a little nugget. And as a disclaimer, I want to say that this video is about stuff I know very little about. I have always wanted to do this and I have done a lot of research on the subject, but I am in no way an expert. I will write the chemical composition of all the things I use, but without the common names, so that if anyone out there sees this video and wants to try, they are at least forced to look up the chemicals and hopefully realize there are serious acids and toxic fumes to worry about throughout the entire process. And before even considering doing anything like this, keep in mind this is not going to make you any money. Especially if you don't already have some equipment or access to a large amount of e-waste. So really, I do this only for the fun of the experiment and to hopefully have some amount of gold that has the cool factor of being recycled from electronic waste. Alright, so I depopulated all the boards and this is what we are left with. And yes, this took a lot of effort and it was also a bit boring to process a large amount of PCBs all at once. This box contains all the gold plated pins and I got around 100 grams. This one has PCBs with visible gold platings, so all the RAM and PCIe connector, many of the smartphone boards and so on, weighed 660 grams. The next one is all about chips, IC chips, BGA, flatpak, DIP and anything else that looks the same. Now this is a lot, 1.2 kilogram, and I know many of these contain gold, but the process to extract that from the plastic, ceramic or resin is a bit longer, so for now I will focus on these things and we will look into this another time. And finally this is 5 kilos of everything else. Resistor, capacitor, small transformer, transistor, diodes, crystal oscillator and many more. I think some of the parts I mentioned contain precious metals like gold, silver and even palladium, but right now I have no idea about how to recover those, so for now I am putting this one away as well.
After one week in the 2 to 1 ratio mix of hydrochloric acid and hydrogen peroxide, most of the gold plating is now off the PCBs and swimming into solution. So now we can take out all the PCBs and everything else that we don't need anymore and collect the gold. This is once again hydrochloric acid, so now I put all the gold into the beaker and cover it completely with the acid. After that, to start dissolving the gold, I'll add a few drops of sodium hypochlorite, mixing real well and adding a little more until all the gold is dissolved. And I'm doing this outside because this process releases toxic fumes. This fluid is now liquid gold, but we want it solid, so to precipitate it I'll add a couple teaspoons of sodium metadisulfate. Now this filter should contain the gold and I can finally melt it into a solid piece using this melting dish with a little bit of borax as flux.
And here it is, refined pure gold from electronic waste. And yes, is a tiny amount, 0.35 grams, with the current value of gold is around 17 euros or 20 US dollars. So yeah, let's say I did not break even, but it's fine. As I mentioned, it's something I have always wanted to try and I had a lot of fun pretending to know what I'm doing with chemicals. I also really hope you enjoyed following along with the experiment. If you did, let me know, perhaps we'll take a look at the other components I took off from the PCBs and we'll see how to refine those as well. That's it. Thank you a lot for watching. Bye bye.